let's look at these methods one by one. Mulching helps to trap moisture in the soil and moderate soil temperature. It involves covering the bare ground between plants with a layer of organic material like straw. Mulching is widely used in dry regions like Arizona, USA. Contour barriers refer to barriers of stone, grass and soil built along the contour lines of a slope. Trenches are built in front of the barriers to collect water and prevent it from flowing down the contours and washing away the soil. Many farmers in northern Thailand have used this method to conserve soil as the area has steep slopes that are prone to soil erosion. Rock dams are dams created from piles of rocks that are stacked up to slow down the flow of water and prevent the formation of gullies. This curtails soil erosion. Rock dams are being extensively used as a soil conservation measure in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in India. To provide flat surfaces for farming on steep slopes, terraces are created. This is called terrace farming. Using terraces also prevents soil erosion and surface runoff. If you go to hill stations like Darjeeling, you will see that terrace farming is widely practiced there. Intercropping is a widely used practice in China to reduce soil erosion due to rain wash. In this method, different crops are grown in alternate rows and are sown at different times. Contour ploughing is the method of soil conservation in which the land is ploughed parallel to the contours of a slope. This creates a barrier that prevents water from flowing down the slope. Contour ploughing has been used to prevent soil erosion in the prairie regions in the USA. In coastal and dry areas, rows of trees are planted to control the movement of wind, thus protecting the soil from being blown away. These rows of trees act as shelter bells. Shelter bells can be seen in areas that are prone to fast winds, like the coastal regions of Orissa in India. As we reach the end of this module, try this activity to see how planting trees prevents soil erosion. Take two trays of the same size. At the end of each tray, Make six small holes. Next, fill each tray with the same amount of soil. Leave one tray as it is. Plant grass in the other tray. Wait for a few days till the grass has grown at least a few centimeters. Hold the first tray which has just the soil at an angle so that it forms a slope. Pour a mug of water 
from a height onto the tray. Make sure you collect the water that drips from the holes of the tray in a container. Repeat the same action for the tray with the grass. You will see that the water that you collected from the first tray is muddier than the water from the tray that has the grass. This proves that planting trees can help in preventing soil erosion. Let's quickly recap what we've covered so far. In this module, you learned that soil is the thin layer of matter that covers the earth's surface. Soil is formed by the weathering of rocks and minerals. The breakdown of surface rock due to various factors is called weathering. The major factors that affect soil formation are the parent rock, climate, relief, flora, fauna and microorganisms, time. Soil degradation is caused by deforestation, overgrazing, excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, rain wash, landslides, floods. The methods of soil conservation are mulching, contour barriers, rock dams, terrace farming, intercropping, contour plowing, shelter belts. Wow.